Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Miss Jiang and Mr. Taiyang. So we're going to try a Celtic cross today. <laughs> All right. So let's get the current energy, please, spirit. Thank you. Justice in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. Okay. Hmm. Well. All right. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, oh guys, sorry about that. <laughs> I had somebody trying to get my attention. Okay, let's see here. Let's find out what their fears might be. Hmm, some type of ending. I'm not taking the other one there. Okay. And what about their motivation between you two parties here? What is the motivation between the two of you? Motivation, please, Spirit. Can I get one card? One card, please, Spirit. I might just fan and do it that way because I'm not having much luck here. Alright, High Priestess. Using their intuition. So, y'all might be, uh, the two of you might be very intuitive uh, picking up on each other's energy here wow so this is these two here miss jian and mr taiyang they are very intuitive here all right they both are i feel like they um really pick feel the energy of each other so we have the seven of swords in reverse in the recent past and we have the near future the three of swords so this is heartbreak and seven of swords is usually shady ass behavior but it's in the reverse so with it being in reverse this is kind of telling me that they may be changing their ways here hmm What have we got? Five of Wands. So, competition. So maybe they themselves were put into a competition and know how it feels to have that done. Let's see here. What's the internal here? What is the internal... Um, Interference. What's the internal interference? One card, please. Thank you. Mm, the Emperor in reverse. Yikes. When they're in reverse, they huh, can be pretty nasty, actually. The Three of Cups for external. So, no teamwork here. Somebody's not cooperating. What don't you see coming, Ty Mr. Taeyang and Mrs. Jian? Hmm, what do we have? Ooh, we have strength and the nine of wands. So no sense of direction, having the courage maybe to find that direction of which way to go. And outcome is judgment, okay. So spirit is definitely uh, calling judgment on this. Okay, well, we're gonna clarify as well. King of coins. So someone else in the mix here that is also in reverse. Now this could be Mr. Taeyang or could be Mrs. Jian. King of wands could be Mr. Taeyang or Mrs. Jian, they both have um, 
they both can ha be in their masculine side. It's energy, right? So it's not he or she. It's it's all about what their trait is coming up as the energy here, and they're both having uh, issues here coming up um, in the negative, in the reverse. So. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of feel like with the justice in reverse, there's some kind of dishonesty, unfairness here, some maybe judged unfairly, maybe some unpaid karmic debts, unable to face a problem of some sort, and it looks like bringing something to an end here. Hmm. Somebody's uh, a little upset about that. Definitely. Perhaps somebody has learned this type of behavior, putting somebody in a competition. Somebody saw this, felt it. Yeah, the emperor is in his head. Um, these, this is internal. So, the emperor here, being in the reverse, is kind of a tyrant if it's to do with the boss, and just nasty. Uh, just can be nasty, and <laughs> no lie. Let's see. Let's get some. Well, we'll do these in a minute, but let's clarify here. Which one? This one. Thank you, Spirit. All right. King of Wands and Justice in reverse. Mm, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So it looks like having to do with this Queen of Pentacles, which could be Mrs. Gian. The King of Coins could be someone else here as well, upset. Everybody seems to be upset. They're all in the reverse here, getting um, kind of nasty with each other. What's the world? Thank you. Ah, uh, trying to end out a lover's cycle here. What is this? What's the Five of Wands? Or the High Priestess, I guess, is the one I brought out, isn't it? Ah, Hierophant. Hmm. So somebody isn't tapped into, um, they're more about unconditional or unconventional type of, um, like an unconventional type of marriage, maybe having more than one partner or both having other partners, you know, um, not the traditional sense of marriage. Could be losing their spiritual gifts as well because of this justice. Hmm. Unable to face something here. What is the Five of Wands? Hmm. Maybe not giving an offer here. Or not accepting an offer. Hmm. What is the Seven of Wands in reverse? What is the Seven of Wands in reverse? Seven of Wands in reverse. Ah, there's no hope here. Somebody's already lost hope. There's heartbreak here. What is the Three of Swords? Three of Swords, please. Ah, somebody's wanting to win at all costs. Moving forward regardless of the heartache. What is the Emperor in reverse? Hmm. Yeah, something isn't long term here. Not wanting to accept defeat. Ah. No teamwork, no cooperation here. And I kind of feel like it was something somebody was very passionate about. Maybe it was to build something or make something. Yeah, somebody wanted to have a leap of faith here in trying something or maybe having an epiphany of some sort. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Wow, that's somebody that's very uh, malicious, vindictive, and just all around 
a bitch. <laughs> Just nasty. Um, having the courage uh, and the Nine of Wands in reverse, not wanting to work through all these obstacles and still make it through on the other side. There's no sense of direction here. Having the courage, but not doing anything about it, not knowing which way to go. Judgment. What is the judgment card here? Uh, somebody might have a child here. Hmm. What is this? Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. This might be something that is kept secret, not, not giving this offer. Knight of Pentacles is usually very, um, very slow moving and I feel in the reverse there, um, it's non-existent, <laughs> it, it just ends, there's, there's no moving forward at all. What do we have on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, somebody doesn't want to go home. Hmm. My, my. Interesting for Mr. Jian, or Mr. Taeyang Ta and Mrs. Jian. Let's see. Can I get some more here? The village. So, a lot of people know about these people. Oh. Yeah, and in some cases, they may have uh, bad reviews, I guess you could say. are not not very nice comments made about them the sustainer this is somebody that works hard to sustain uh, a certain kind of feel like a level of quality or kind of like um status i guess you could say the one mm. wow Somebody here is the one, whether it's the King of Coins, the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, or the Emperor here, who could be both kings. The Castle, the Vow, the Anime Monday, which is being all connected, and the Ring. Wow. This looks like somebody might actually take their vows. I kind of like the vow to maybe move in together, maybe even marriage with the ring there. Wow. So something is going on here. This dynamic is changing somewhat. Wow. I kind of feel, hmm, something is ended here though, with this Queen of Pentacles and this King of Wands, okay, something was hidden, they were put into a competition, didn't want the offer and ended it with this lover. High Priestess and the Hierophant in reverse, they don't have the traditional sense of marriage. Um, maybe having side people is acceptable in their world. Yeah, this type of behavior the Seven of Wands in reverse is kind of telling me that they're no longer feeling good about this, possibly because there's an unwanted pregnancy here, or a pregnancy scare. Feeling like they were going to have to move commit and actually marry this person for the good of the child I feel but I want to find out a little bit more about 
the child. Tell me more about this child here. Is that something flip over? Yeah. Yeah, this isn't the path that this these people are meant to take. This was not written for them. This was this wasn't this wasn't their path. Privileged lady in reverse. Somebody doesn't want something to end. I kind of feel like this privileged lady who thought was going to get all this money for claiming a child that is somebody that is got money. What do we got here? What can you tell me about this? Unexpected income, yeah. They are treating this person as if they weren't the adversary and they kind of were. I kind of feel like they didn't realize that this person was kind of out to get them at first, I feel. Even though there's intuition here, somebody maybe not using their spiritual gifts, maybe not listening to their intuition. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So I kind of feel like they're not appreciating this person. They don't see their value. It's, I kind of feel like it's more for greed. More greed than grief. What else can you tell me about this child? Yeah, somebody's not very patient about this. They're not willing to surrender. I kind of feel like it's a very stressful situation here. Yeah, it's about abundance here. I'm feeling like this may be a scare for somebody. Not feeling in despair anymore, so they must have found out something here. Tell me about this child, please. They're not very thankful for the situation and they wish that it could end, but it hasn't. What hasn't ended? Why is that here? Oh, because of this child. So something isn't ending because of a child here. Let's see. Is the child this person's child? I might have to go with another deck here. Is this child theirs? Pentacles. Pentacles is yes, it comes with a price, but it's in reverse, so I'm going to say no and it won't cost them a thing. It's not their kid. Maybe that is what this is saying with the pentacle here in reverse. That's why it's not going anywhere. It's because it's not their child. Yeah, and the emperor is back upright. He's uh, hopefully going to get back on his path. Anything else for this reading, please, Spirit, for Mr. Jian and Mrs. Jian and Mr. Taiyang? Okay, so somebody is a Capricorn here. I feel in. Hmm. Yeah, it, it would have been a toxic situation for this Capricorn because they wouldn't have been very happy had this been their child. I feel I feel like they ended some kind of romance here because of this situation thinking that they were going to have to get married but with the hierophant in the reverse it kind of tells me that maybe they were hoping not to have to do that 
They had no hope in the situation. And with this type of behavior in reverse now, kind of tells me that they may have been um, feeling shame, not wanting to go home to maybe their parents, to dad. Or this could be having to tell somebody um, and they're upset for them. Yeah. Some They have the one. Somebody has somebody here that is the one. And whether it is the emperor or this king of coins here or this king of wands. Yeah. Somebody was looking for something here. I don't know why this story keeps coming up. I don't know. Yeah, there was juggling involved. I, <laughs> I, yeah, and there's no love there with whoever this person was, this Queen of Pentacles. It, yeah, somebody was very angry about this. This Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. May have tried to trap somebody with the child here, a Capricorn. And it keeps coming up no matter, but I'm surprised it's come up with Miss Gian, Mrs. Gian and Mr. Taeyang. So I'm not sure why it's here, but huh, maybe you all know something I don't. I'm just reading the cards. Yeah, the Queen of Wands has to do with the Queen of Wands here as well. Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, and they're both in the reverse. These two know each other. I kind of feel like something has happened between the four of these people. Now the Emperor could be the King of Wands or the King of Coins or both, I suppose, but I kind of feel like this energy here is different. I kind of feel like this is more a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And the Emperor, now that he's in the upright, I feel like it was a big uh, weight off their shoulders to know that this child was not theirs. I saw the same, same thing for something else here for another reading, so... I don't know. I'm just reading the cards. Yeah, that Queen of Pentacles had something to do with it. Huge. She was messing a couple people over. There was an instigation here on this. Knows this Queen of Wands or they know each other somehow. Yeah, I feel like there was a lot of shame for this Emperor not wanting to go home to tell the parents. Not wanting to go home to say they had to do, the, yeah, this Queen of Wands. And there's no love there. She's acting like a sweetheart as if she's single. That she's cooperative and all these things. But, yeah, there's that world card right there. So, being played by somebody here. Thought this person was a friend or something along those lines or just was a new person that came along into this group they knew somebody though a friend of a friend of a friend or something like that one of these guys I feel like it might be the emperor it may be a healer as well yeah not wanting to surrender to this because they had their doubts I feel Maybe the dates weren't matching up for this pregnancy of when they got together. Something wasn't matching up. They may have done a paternity test as well. Hmm. Same kind of reading though, and I keep getting this one. So somebody needed to hear this. I don't know. In any case. <laughs> That's the reading for Mr. Taeyang and Mrs. Jian. And yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. And give us a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And yeah, <laughs> stay blessed. Take care.
All right, later.